Man, look how beautiful this thing is. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. It is beautiful out here in Michigan. It's about 70 degrees out today. UPS dropped something out for me. I, now I don't recall ordering this. Turns out it's a surprise for my uh, brother. My birthday just passed. It was March 10th, AKA Chuck Norris's birthday. So mine doesn't really count. My brother got me a little gift for the truck. Thank you, little bro. So if you guys look at the front end of my truck, you know, it's got, it's got a lot of black accents on it. It's got the, the black bumper, blacked out headlights. And then, you know, surely enough, we added the black topper on the back. I think my brother was like, you know what? You know what would get, go really, you know, nice with this truck. And I didn't care much for it, but he went ahead, he went ahead and got me a black grill. He got me one of those Ram Rebel style grills. And it's not just your typical Ram Rebel grill. It's actually the one that's got like the, well, I think the three LEDs up top, the amber LEDs are, are factory for the, for the Ram Rebels, but the little Ram logo in the center of it actually lights up. Well, according to the ad that he sent me, it lights up. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. I already took this out. I still haven't taken the rest of the stuff out of the little boxes, but should we just do an unboxing video? Yeah, let's just do an unboxing. All right, now that you guys are mounted up to my tripod, let me show you guys what's going on here. Now, I don't want to take this. I guess I'll expose just a little bit just to show you guys what's going on here. Yeah, I'll put that somewhere safe. It's got this little box and this little box right here. Let's see what's all in here. I'm going to pop this open. Ooh, look at that. So there's your R. There's your A, and there's your M, and then you got some screws. Oh, what's in here? All right, so it looks like we've got some wiring harnesses, and then some plastic pieces. I wonder what these are for. All right, so this one's labeled one, two, three, and four. Any instructions? Nope, no instructions. No instructions there either. So uh, that's the first bad part about this unboxing or review. So shame, shame, shame. Let's go ahead and start taking off uh, the front grill and uh, we'll compare the front grill to the, the new one and see what these these are. Guess we'll figure it out. See, I kind of have an idea of what they are, but we'll, we'll get to it. All right. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is pop open the hood. If you don't know how to do that, then uh, just stop what you're doing and take it to a professional. I'm just kidding. It's not like I'm a professional either. Second thing you wanna do is open the hood and then we're gonna look over here. We're gonna move this, the shroud. This should just pop off. There we go. Come on. All right, and if you've made it this far, that's uh, pretty much all you need to do. Thank you guys for watching. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's get to work. I think we need an eight and a 10. Uh, so right here, got an eight mil, 10 mil, 10 mil, eight mil, and this should just slide right off because I've got this aftermarket bumper. All right, let me grab those. All right guys, so I figured out what these things are. So I think just for shipping purposes, they don't have these installed. And these are the two smaller ones, all right? So it looks like four is going all the way on the passenger side and number one is going on the driver's side, right? If I'm saying driver. Yep. For one and four, the, the two end ones, the two small ones, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use these screws that look like that. And then for the two middle ones, we're gonna use these style for the middle one. So this is going to go into the grill assembly itself. It's gonna go in, yep, pop into place, held in. And then we're gonna go ahead and bolt it. Although there's no instructions involved, or at least for mine, there was no instructions that came with it. I guess it seems pretty straightforward. So I'm not going to tighten it just yet, just going to kind of guide each screw into its hole just to make sure they all fit. Mm -hmm. 
insert these into their brackets. Now be careful if you're using power tools, don't go, don't go too fast when you're screwing them down. You don't want to break through the plastic. I usually don't recommend using power tools when doing this kind of stuff, but I also have a send it mentality, which is bad. It's burned me a couple times in the past, actually more like several times in the past. Looks like they gave me some extra screws. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Guess that looks good. All right, so this is how I have it configured. I'm just kind of fish it through. You're gonna fish the cable through as well on the back. I think that looks even. It looks good on camera at least. All right guys, so when we go to secure the back, just to kind of hold the letters in place while we secure it, that way we're not, you know, going back and forth and prevent trying to hold it from falling out. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some uh, masking tape here and just kind of hold the letters in place. All right guys, so this is how it looks on the back before we secure it. We've got the R, the A, and the M, and you see the wires aren't kinked go through those holes so I don't know if you want to take a screenshot of that while you're installing it now let's go ahead and just install the screws all the, the letters so the letters are all secure We've got the LEDs up top that have their own connectors So red and red, black and black all around. And then you can pull the sleeve over them. Okay. All right guys, so to tap in the power, I think I've decided to go ahead and tap into the, the, the park light. Uh, and that's the light that just turns on. It's basically your accessory light that turns on when you like have your remote start on. So what I have is I've got some line tappers. So that, what this does is it taps into a line without having to splice it. So let's go ahead and get this headlight off. We've got a 10 mil up top and we've got a 10 mil on the bottom. And because my fender is all wonky and stuff, my headlight doesn't fit right, so I just, Usually there's a tab where this pulls out of. You gotta muscle it, but that tab's broken for me. So this is the park light, and off the park light there's a there's a black wire. So the black wire is gonna be our ground, and then there's a there's there's two white wires, but one of them has a black line going through it, and one of them has a green line going through it. The green line is what's your turn signal, so don't tap into that. We're gonna tap into the white and black wire. Black wire ground, black white power so to use these wire tappers that's how they look right so you're gonna go ahead and open up that jaw right there sorry I'm using both hands otherwise I'd point out where so you're gonna go ahead and open up that jaw and then you're gonna run your cable through it right so let's imagine it's like running through there and then you're gonna take your second cable the one that's you know coming off our grill and then we're gonna feed it through the second hole and then once the, both cables are in the hole, go ahead and grab your um, pliers or whatever and just press down with this. Press down on the metal part and the metal part will sink into the plastic and that's how you have it tapped, just like, just like that. So if you guys can see how that worked out. So you see how I'm tapped into it? All right, and then we, you just take the plastic cover and fold it over just to cover it. But yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Now 
now that we're tapped in. Go ahead and install our headlight back. All right guys, so here it is, all hooked up. Probably get a night shot once it gets dark out. But yeah, it took a little longer than expected because uh, my eBay headlights, so these are spider headlights, the LEDs, like the little accent LEDs stopped working and I kind of found, well, I found out why they weren't working. Water got into one of the wires and it just kind of corroded the wire on the inside. So I went ahead and redid those and taped it up pretty good. I know I should use heat shrink, but I ran out and I had electrical tape in abundance. Here we are, it's all hooked up. One little mistake. I don't know if it's a mistake or, you know, this is what happens when you don't get instructions with your parts. For the top brackets, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna edit this in the video because earlier I mentioned that these are supposed to be flipped, but this is actually the right way. And that's what happens when you don't get instructions with your aftermarket parts. Uh, my gripe about this is that the rivets on the bottom, one of them broke, so it's, it's it's loose on this one side. I might have to buy a rivet. So, check it out. So, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but the RAM logo is lit up with the little LEDs up top are lit up. And then you can see my accent lighting in this LED. And you can see the accent lighting in this LED. I don't, I don't think you can see the halos. But yeah, thank you to my little brother for the gift. Really wasn't planning on buying one, but it, I, I think it looks great on the truck now. Definitely gave the truck a whole new look. Might have to get some better shots of it. Let's go ahead and put the shroud back on and see how it looks like. I'm digging it. I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if it looks riced out, but I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. So I brought the truck in the shade. I don't know if this kind of helps, but here you guys go. I actually really like it now. Now that it's darker. I'm digging it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. While it's night, figured I'd get you guys a shot of it at night. This thing is... This thing's cool, guys. That ram in the middle is really bright and it, like, pops out at you. Tell me this isn't aggressive looking. Just imagine look at this, looking at this in, like, your rear view mirror coming up on you. Man, I thought this was going to look kind of ricey, but I, I'm really digging it now, guys. Man, shout out to my brother. Thanks, bro. Those of you like it? Yeah, I think he likes it too. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you have any questions about the install or about the product, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the description down below of the grill that I bought. Feel free to comment down below and let me know if you have any suggestions for the truck of what I should do next to it. Although I do have the Lexus and I don't know if I should spend any more money on this thing. We'll see. If you guys have any questions, comments, or crude remarks, I guess the crude remarks you can keep to yourself. If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to do more of this kind of content. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in another video. Thank you guys for watching.